Yeah, sorry about that, guys. The game crashed. So, uh, we're just gonna pick up where we left off. Got to load here. That's not fair. Man, that's not fair, guys. I don't get a break. Let's see, um, being smart doesn't hurt, and a little luck now and then is nice, but the key is patience and hard work, and when it pays off, it's sweet. Do personality. Uh, yeah, I'll do willpower and then strength. And press okay.
Yeah, steel or silver. Spark axe. Cool. That's cool. died there oh man wow um wasn't expecting this uh these would be good items to carry <laughs> i could carry them i don't know um okay <sighs> gelled Can I actually move around? Nope, can't. Cool, that didn't take too many picks. Took three. Yeah, see, it took three picks. Ooh. Ooh, my. Um. Hell yeah. And ebony boots and, and, and a drow helmet? What the hell? I wouldn't mind wearing that.
I just want to see what uh, the Dwemer armor looks like on me without. I like the Dwemer armor. Looks cool. I just wish it was just without the weird butt. It looks so weird. The butt looks weird. I'll put the butt down. Uh, I'd like to try on this. Don't look bad. The <laughs> danger greaves. Oh man, that's nuts, man. And it weighs 54. That's oh, uh, that's insane. Oh man. And then the ebony boots. Oh. Um. Oh my gosh, guys, that's pretty cool. Uh, to get Daedric this early on is pretty in insane. Like just being level. Um, what level am I? It's 11, and I just got Daedric. That's nuts. Uh. I'll try it on. I like it. Can't believe I got Daedric this so soon. Ebony boots. Uh, the Daedric weighs too much though. It's nuts. I can't believe it weighs that much. I'd definitely go sell this to the Mud Crab Merchant. The, maybe I'd sell the... I don't know if I'd sell the Daedric, I'd, but I'd sell the Ebony Boots. I don't know, maybe I wouldn't sell anything, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a liar. Okay, let me put my, uh... My robe back, my robe back on. Damn, a Dwemer, Dwarven crossbow? Cool. And a glass spear staff. there. Doors, it's got silver bolts, that's cool. <laughs> Poison and shock damage. Got silver arrows. Ah, oh, damn, a sh ebony short sword?
And a Nordic Claymore. That's cool. and stuff. I do like the dwarven crossbow. Just you wait, guys. You're going to see me get some glass armor, I think, because there should be a. a You shouldn't technically save in the middle of combat like that, but uh... Got me. That's not fair, I even I even healed. That's not cool. Like I healed myself and it still got me. I did heal, but uh, it apparently didn't work. He's a piece of work. He really is. <laughs> he just like slides to me, like when he's doing his attacks and stuff. Yeah, he's, he's tough. 
his hands fast enough to cast the spell. Guys, sorry. Uh, my alarm was going off from my phone. <laughs>
Oh man. Oh man. It sucks when I'm doing kind of good, and then he does all that, where he, uh... That was not fair. It's just not fair. Like, how he does that so quickly. <laughs> yeah, I had trouble pulling out my, um... ...spell. Oh my gosh. Wow. I just got screwed. Big time.
Damn, they're tough. tough. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go see the other chick. So tough, guys. See the glass chick. The chick with glass armor. She has a long blade too. Does poison. Go figure. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so I'd like to load. That was not fun. Not fun at all. Die. I was trying to heal myself before I died. 
but I died.
Alright, so we made it this far, and we're doing all this because we're trying to fight the Spectre again. The Ghost, the Wraith, whatever you want to call him. Um, gotta fight him to prove myself to the camp. Gotta kill him. Can't just fight him. I have to finish him off. And I'm hoping this Ebony Sword will help me kill him. Let's save real quick. And the Nordic Claymore seems more superior to the Silver Claymore than, yeah. become tougher. Let's drop the steel dagger and the iron shield on top of it. Let's save. The skeletons have become stronger. As you can see. I mean, they weren't this tough before. Actually, they were. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs>
He's bad, man. Super tough. I messed up the jump. Alright guys, this is where we're going. Oh man. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to defeat him. Uh, I'm gonna try. I don't know if we're gonna win. Seven right here. Oh, <laughs> 
steel warhammer. Wow. You guys still may, sir. Use the restroom real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Sorry about the wait.
Hey guys, we did it. I beat him. <sighs> now we get the bow. Uh, it weighs only two. That's good. Um, bone biter bow of Sun Sul Sun uh, pool. Damages your agility. And my opponents, whoever you're using it on, it damages their agility. Uh, he's just messed up my agility too. No? Never mind. This is, it's not a permanent thing, I guess. Okay, uh, let's heal up. And then we're gonna put back on the, uh, my drow hood. So, guys, um, there you have it. I did it. I beat the quest, finally. And, uh, it just took us a while. I had to do some Fighter's Guild stuff. But I knew I was going to come back here. But, uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to defeat him. That was totally cheating right there. Like, I didn't use any cheats, but I feel like that was cheating. Because I just slid off the rock. Like, I was, like, gliding along the rock. Now it's time for me to use my bow. And I might use this bow. 5 to 20. What's mine do? 5 to 25. Well, that was what it is what it was, and I beat it. And uh, it was pretty cool. Finally done with it. Just gotta go back to the camp, or Sri Laku camp.
Yo, that's cool. He's got a steel saber. I totally want to get the armor over there on that guy. Uh, I want to take it with me and stuff, but I can't since, um... Uh... I'm gonna just go to, uh... And I can show you guys, so finally show you guys I'm talking Mudcrab Merchant. That'd be great. I'd love to show you guys them, him, the talking Mudcrab Merchant. Alright, let's save. So he's got water walking or something? I didn't see him cast a spell. Ha ha ha, very funny. <laughs> I'm so funny. Hold still. Hold still. I'd have finally defeated them. Kaguya. 
Nein. Now we can return back to the Urshulaku camp and uh, show them what we did. save yeah guys um it's been like a whole hour and 30 yeah something because the first one it crashed and i'm sorry that happened but uh i don't know what's going on why the game crashes on me like that it just does sometimes from time to time it's done it to me on Fallout 2 as well. Like, not Fallout 2, but Fallout 3. And when I said 2, I meant T-O-O. -O. Like, it also does it to me as well on Fallout. Oh, here we are. Leave me. Okay, okay. Keep moving, scum. Damn. You're unclean, Outlander. Get away from me and go get cured or stay away from me. The burial caverns lie to the south southwest of the camp, a north facing door in a little hill halfway between us and the slopes of Red Mountain. Um I want to talk to you about This is my father's bone biter bow. You have completed the f initiation rite. I name you Yeshman Guard, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe, and you may rest in any Urshulaku bed, but do not harm other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfill my other promise. Go to the wise woman's yurt, and Nabani Maisa shall examine you and test you against the Neverine prophecies. Neverine prophecies? Now that you're a clan friend, I want you to speak with pl I want you to speak plainly. I want I find it hard to believe that you are the Neverine. You are an outlander, but the Neverine comes to drive all outlanders from Morrowin. How could an outlander be the uh, incarnate? The Great House stole our lands and mocked us with false gods, the godless Outlanders steal our land and our dignity. The Neverine to the last hope. The Neverine is the last hope the Ashlanders have. I will let no Outlander steal this hope from us. Continue. These are the serious words, Yeshman Guard. Words of life and death. I see honor and merit in you, and I am proud to name you clan friend. But take care what you say and do in the name of the Neverine. And do in the name of the Neverine. Now go question Nibani Maisa and learn all that she can tell you. Goodbye. Go away, diseased creature. I don't know what disease I got. I didn't think I contracted anything from the vampires. How you all know I'm diseased? 
I don't even know I'm diseased. Nibani Maisa. So, they've told me of you, Outlander, or shall I say, clan friend, you are hard-headed and ignorant, but perhaps it is not your fault. My lord Ashkin says you will ask me about the Neverine prophecies. He also says I will test you against the Neverine prophecies. I must do as I, my lord Ashkin says, so ask your questions and I will test you. Neverine prophecies. There are many Neverine prophecies, and they suggest many things. Aspect and uncertain parents. The moon and star sleepers. Seven curses. The curse is Bane. The prophecy of the stranger. The prophecy of the seven visions. The lost prophecies. Continue. Ask me of these things. Uh, if you are patient, if you would be wise or if you are important impatient to know just ask sorry not important but impatient uh do i pass the test of the neverine prophecies go ahead outlander i am the wise woman ask your questions and i will answer if what you say is true you are indeed born on a certain day of uncertain parents there is part of the this is part of the prophecy but Many have the same birthday, and many are not sure of their parents. It is interesting, but it does not make you the Neverine. The Moon and Star. Legends say Endoral Nerevar's family standard bore the Moon and Star. The Neverine and Neverine Nerevar's armor and weapons bore this sign. Some say he bore a moon and star birthmark. Some say he was a magic ring mark. He has a magic ring marked with a moon and star. Others say he was born under a moon and star. In any case, I think the moon and star is the mark of the Neverine, and you do not have this mark, so you are not the Neverine. Sleepers. Rumors say that in the towns, mad cultists called sleepers are attacking people, saying that Dagothor has awakened and will drive the outlanders from Morrowind. Perhaps it is just a co coincidence, but I think it is a sign of the Neverine, not necessarily a sign that you are the Neverine. Perhaps the, si the time of the Neverine has come, and you have come at the same time this is not passing a, a test but it, it may mean you have some some part to play in the coming of the Neverine yeah I was trying to like figure out what everything is saying and I'm just trying to read word by word and every, everything and yeah seven curses it is another Ashlander prophecy of the Neverine it is called the seven curses of the Charmat, but I do not know it. I know no one who does. It may be lost. Such things happen. A wise woman dies or forgets, or a clan is wiped out. Perhaps someone knows, but is keeping it secret. Perhaps it is one of those many books of your settled people's I have heard that the descendant priests of the temple may have such may have such books. Okay. Now we go for the stranger. This is the best known of the Neverine prophecies. We call it the stranger. Continue. When earth is sundered and skies choked black and sleepers serve the seven curses to the hearth there shall there comes a stranger journeyed far nor neath moon and star though stark born to sire uncertain his aspect marks his certain fate wicked stalk him righteous curse him 
prophecies speak, prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, and fate the curses bane. Many touch stones try the stranger. Many fall, but one remains. Seven visions, the seven visions. The seven visions, the full title of the prophecy is Seven Visions of Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen, and I will tell you the verses. Continue. Seven trials, what he puts his hand to that shall be done, what is left undone that shall be done. First trial, on a certain day to uncertain parents, incarnate moon and star reborn. Second trial, neither blight nor age can harm him, the curse of flesh before him fl flies. Uh, okay, third trial. In the ca in caverns dark, Azura's eye sees and makes to shine the moon and star. Fourth trial, a stranger's voice unites the houses. Three halls call him Nohortator. Fifth trial, a stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him Nor Nervarine. Sixth trial, he honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. His mercy fees, frees the cursed false gods, binds the broken, redeems the mad. One destiny, he speaks the law for Velothi's people. He speaks for their land and names them great. Continue. What does this prophecy mean? I, it tells us who the Neverine will be, and the trials he must undergo before he fulfills his destiny. Some parts I understand, some parts I do not. I will answer your questions as best as I can, but I cannot pretend to understand it all. Lost prophecies. There are nevering prophecies that have been lost. The seven curses and others, some are forgotten, some hidden, some deliberately lost. The wise woman and the memory of the Velothi people, but it is a faulty memory, and we are mortal, and our knowledge lies, our knowledge dies with us. But we hear that the pro descendant priest of the temple study our Neverine prophecies and regard recorded them in books. Such written words never die. You must go to them and ask for these books and bring what you find to me. Pass the test. You are not the Neverine. You are no you are one who may become the Neverine. It is a puzzle and a hard one, but you have found some of the pieces and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Neverine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the descendant priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I will 
be your guide and take these copies of the stranger and the seven visions now I hold now I have told you all I know go think on what I've told you and do what must be done Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to use my scroll. Um, what it does is um, it'll uh, chant, it'll either, I don't remember how they work, one goes to the nearest Imperial cult, the other one goes to a uh, temple. I cannot defeat these guys, like, there's no way, guys, I could defeat them. I'm gonna save. Oh, 
That makes no sense. I don't know, understand how arresting can be illegal in here. That's cool. Found a Drow Curus. 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 Um, I don't know. I want to take it, but I can't because I can't take it. I, I just can't. Make me overweight. It's pretty cool, though. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try and go for the drought. Uh Um, I think I'm gonna go collect I'm gonna go collect some stuff real quick guys. I'm gonna um drop my armor here. I'm gonna drop it off here. And I'm gonna do some I wonder if there's any other Places that I know that want armor from and stuff. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm gonna drop some of my own items. I'll keep that on me. Take the cool. Take that off too. That'll, that'll be all I need to drop. Um Yeah. I'm gonna do this for now. I'm gonna go grab the drow cur cuirass. This is everything I'm wanting to take. All this stuff here. 
Um, the steel armor, I guess I'll sell to... What's his face? Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to look at everything and evaluate what I got here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the... Um, these are all just enchanted. I'll take these two then. That's everything I want to keep around here. Um, uh, I'm gonna go back and get the uh, Imperial armor and I'm gonna save. So I'm gonna go back and get the Imperial armor and um get yeah, I want that armor real quick and then I'm gonna teleport out of here. Take all this off of him. I'm gonna drop it down. Thought he had a weapon. Yeah, he did. Yeah, still katana. Thought so. Thought he had a blade. Uh, I think that's everything that he had on him. Yeah, keep on going this way and I don't wanna mess with them. Oh, look what I found. It's funny because like it was just I got lucky and I just so happened to be like right there at the spot. 
Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna use the scroll. I'll show you guys how it works. I thankfully I kept them on me. Never thought I'd have to use them. Almost every in divine intervention. One takes you to the temple. The other one I think takes you to an imperial cult shrine. Tag team. That's not fair. Oh, it's not fair. That's that screwed up, man. Why would they do that to me? Killed him. And that's a good thing. So we're gonna save and then we're gonna go over here to this guy. Oops. Actually hit my keyboard. Yeah, but guys, thanks for sticking with me. Appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> gonna get me. I knew he was gonna get me. I just knew it.
save here. Because I just finished him off. this too and then I'll take the shield which I think I already have one I know guys, I'm sorry this has been two hours long.
Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, and um, we're gonna go back to the Dwemer Ruin, and then we're gonna leave from there with the scroll. Uh, I'm gonna do a custom screenshot real quick, guys. Uh, who is it now? Oh, it's a cliff racer. No! Go away, cliff racer.
Fortify endurance. Oh, this is it. I was like looking around, I was like, hmm, I wonder where it is. And it's right here. We're gonna take a picture of this. Let's try to get a better, more closer up look. Because we're so far away. I had to get a screenshots of these. Well, come on. Alright, I got everything, and um, now we're going to save. We're traveling. We're going to travel. Oops, didn't mean to grab that. Here we go. We're traveling now. We're off. Let's see where it takes us. First we're gonna use First we're gonna use divine intervention. Oh we get we travel all the way to Nisus. Sweet. Um Okay. So let's take us to Nisus. Let's use let's load. Yeah, let's load, and we'll find out what the next one takes us to. Takes us to a temple. Anesis? Hmm. Alright, so I'm at the drop some stuff. Here in Anesis. Yes. <sighs> Dang, I grabbed a lot of stuff. This is insane. Um, I'm gonna drop that. That, yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna try and drop all my armor. The steel stuff we don't really worry, not too concerned about. I had the steel greaves. We're gonna put this with my stuff. Um. Weapons will go over here. Uh, the armor pieces, these greaves. We're gonna put them right here. Along with the boots. We'll put that there. Um, ebony boots are gonna go on to this pile. Um, then I drop my stuff right here on the side. This is mine. This one's mine. This was mine. One of this... Uh, what else is mine? Um... The helmets... Both drought. See, oh, I can't move. Okay, so, um, it just he leaves me with the shield and the two, uh, gaunt bracers. Um, I actually grabbed these Nordic, I didn't want them. I want to see what these pants look like on me. Uh, they look alright. I know guys, I'm sorry the video is so long. I just wanted to travel here using the scrolls and... Um, this is what I got. And for this pile... They'll go in there. These will go there. Oops. Damn it. These will go there. This will go there. Um. Some more stuff lost. Um. Uh. What is it? What does it want to do? Um. Uh, let's go and get rid of all the wep more weapons. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Uh, Nordic Claymore. Steel Sparks. Uh, what else? I know that these got these go along. These go along with that. I could drop the shield there, and probably drop this along with it. I like the shield. The Chitin shield it looks cool. Um, I don't know what else to use. Or what else to drop, I mean. Oh, man. That's so much stuff. Um, like, there's, like... It's, like, not even that much. Oh, well, well the repair hammers. Um, drop 
one. Yeah. So now I just gotta go. Okay, so I'm gonna save this mess. And, uh. Gotta go to Balmora and stuff too, guys. Report to Cal. Cal. Cosades. Caius Cosades. I just need to drop my stuff off at, uh. Probably Balmora. I'm gonna wait until next episode to uh, do that with you guys, where where I'm gonna go through all that stuff back there. All right, let me save and persuade him. Where would you like to go? Save. going pretty smoothly. I'm shocked. Wow. Oh well, good times had to end some, some time. Like, whatever. You know? Had to end eventually, the good times. Uh, because, uh... We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. I'm gonna persuade him all the way to 100. There we go. I'm gonna save. Well, that was easy, guys. So now we're gonna go to Balmora. Uh, travel to Balmora. I'll, I can go from out. What? I can go from side to need here? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I, I just wanna go to Balmora, though. But we're gonna go to side need. So first we off, a special trip just for you. guys, low price. we're gonna um, go see a real. I know I didn't want to sell anything just yet, but I'm gonna sell something. Just um, one item, real quick. I'm gonna sell one of these boots. Hey, Aril. It's good to see you. That would take...
Yeah, guys, it's just gotta be persistent with this. And sometimes you just gotta, <laughs> you gotta try and figure out what works and what don't work, what, how much uh, something costs. You know, you gotta check out your prices and everything. You gotta make sure your mercantile is good and stuff like that. But I mean, I've done, I've done um, bartering when um, my mercantile was pretty low. And I've gotten away with some good deals too, but it's just really hard. You gotta be persistent with them and stuff when it comes down to this. Because sometimes you can get away with good deals and sometimes you can't. Like you can go beyond what I'm doing right now. Like you can go beyond the, uh, the price that... Um, the item is worth a little bit and get away with selling it for that much but sometimes you can't so you gotta know when to be, when to try and stand your ground I, I would say and when not to I wonder if I did get infected as a vamp- I wonder if I got vampirism, and I can sleep for like three days to find out. I know it's taking a while guys, sorry about that, and I know the whole video is pretty long, so I'm sorry, it's so long.
Yeah, sometimes you really get lucky too, guys. Like, um... When I did this last time, uh... I got luckier. Yeah, he's not willing to work with me right now. I'm going to try again.
Oh, he's not being cool today. Yeah, he's not being cool at all. He's being really jerkish. Oh, he's being a, a big butthole. Oh, come on. Come on, don't do this. I'll just have to come back to him some other time. Uh, I think I know why. I think it's because I'm a disease. I don't know if I can put anything up right now. Um, I'm gonna save putting things up for next episode. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go see Caius and tell him what I know. Why walk when you can run? Sorry about the episode being so long, guys. I don't know, I keep on saying sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was just unexpected. Some things happened that I was hoping um, I could um, trade those boots to uh, Aril, but Aril's being a big butthole. He don't want to barter with me properly you don't want to go you don't want to see Please, things my way I don't wish to catch whatever you have oh damn Caius what should I be like that for I understand damn orders we've spoken with Sol Matul You've spoken with Sol Matul and Nibani Mesa, and from what you say, it sounds like you could really be the Neverine. That's just incredible. But I'll have to get used to the idea. Let me try to get word to Myra Milo. Myra Milo. Maybe she can find out 
whether the descendant priest have any lost prophecies, but in the meantime, I have a very tough assignment for you. Do you think you're ready? I'm ready for anything. Hmm. Don't get overconfident, but it so happens that I agree you're ready. But just in case, I'm going to give you 400 drakes before you head out. Make sure you outfit yourself with healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you'll need, you need most. And remember, if you get cut, if you get in trouble, back off, rest up, and go back fresh. Don't get cocky. I think this will be a tough one. Continue. Here's your mission. Fort Buckmoth sent a patrol to Narmok hunting smugglers with 6th house connections. They found a 6th house base, a 6th house shrine, and a 6th uh, house priest named Dagoth Garrus. Speak to champion Raisa Pol Polia at Fort F Buckmoth. She'll tell you about the patrol and the 6th house base. Your orders find that 6th house base, kill Dagoth Garrus, and bring me a full report on the 6th house base. Okay, Fort Buckmoth. Fort Buckmoth is the Imperial Legion garrison for Redrun District. The fort lies south of Alderun, a short walk from Alderun South Gate. Okay, so it's an Alderun. Okay, and then Six House Base. Six House Base. Champion Raisa Pulia at Fort Buckmoth says a patrol found a Six House Base in a cave. The locals called Eluna B. However, the one trooper who escaped to report has died of corpus disease. Before he died, the trooper reported fighting with monsters and cultists and something about a powerful six house priest called Dagoth Garrus. But go talk to Raisa Pulia at Fort Buckmoth. She'll have all the details. One trooper who escaped the report has died of corpus disease. Damn, that sucks. Corpus disease? You don't know much about it. I've never seen a case myself. You can get it from contact with the Red, or, with the red Mountain monsters they call corpus beast. I think it's like a blight disease, only worse. It, it usually drives victims mad and causes terrible deformed growths on the body I'll check my information information informants and find out how to cure it in the meantime just follow your orders I don't want I don't know what else to do okay goodbye goodbye I'm gonna save because we and, um, guys, uh, I had fun. Sorry it took so long. I know the video was forever. But, uh, thanks and have a good, have a good day, guys.